Who came up with this color? Call me right now. It's your favorite series from TikTok. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miss Megan Robinson and this is my most popular series from TikTok where I go through really old, vintage, discontinued MAC makeup and I just go down memory lane and see if there's anything that I've never seen before. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post and if you wanna explore some old MAC product with me, keep on watching. I was a pigment girly. I never wanted to use eyeshadow. I only like to use pigment. I've never lovely lily i'm so excited right now i can't even breathe first of all the way that the jumbo tub makes me feel lovely lily and i would always use them wet because that was the cool thing to do and i never wanted to use eyeshadows all my looks had to have that is so pretty it's kind of like Humble brag. No, it's like humble brag and ready to party had a baby. This has to come back. The first MAC product I ever, ever, ever got was Movement Pigment. It was gifted to me in like 2007. It's kind of what started to get me into MAC. And I was like on YouTube and I found X Sparkage, Petri Lude, uh, Makeup by Risa. They all worked for MAC. They all were using pigments and X Sparkage was using pigments wet. And that's where I like just started to fall, like fall hard sun pepper that looks and sounds like a Miss Megan color. Sun pepper. I get emotional because, oh, why am I nervous? I feel like this is my wedding day. That, okay, it's silver. Are my eyes playing tricks on me because of the color beside it? It's kind of clubbish, but not at all. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think because the base color of the, who came up with this color? Call me right now. Call me right now because we need to discuss that I need this. I need this. I, <laughs> I need this, period. Oh my God. This is what I want. This is the pastels. This is what I want Sweet Heat eyeshadow to look like. When I go to swatch Sweet Heat, this is what I want happening. My heart is racing. I just love, I'm overwhelmed. This is me overwhelmed. Electric Coral, I think I own. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. So yeah, sorry, that's what I was saying. My first, I need a brush for this one, I think. My first pigments were, so movement, and then I did violet. There was a yellow, golden, lemon, mutiny, which was limited edition, I'm pretty sure. And then I had golden, ah, oh, golden olive. Those are my first four. And I remember, so I used to, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. That needs to be used wet, okay. Hold on. I'm just gonna mix it on the brush first. So I used to skip school to go shopping at MAC when I was in high school. And, oh yeah, there's more gold in this. I don't know if you can see that. I used to skip school. I would do my lunch and then spare. I would sip school, like one of my classes I didn't wanna go to. And I would go shopping at MAC and I remember the day I found out that you could get a sample. And so I got a sample of corn wall, corn flower, corn flower pigment. And I like, I went back to high school with my Mac bag and I was like, guys, look at this. And nobody gave a fuck, but I was like, I pulled out the sample. I'm like, you can get samples. It was, I just like vivid, vivid memory i love pigment so much because to me it was just something like i loved and anybody that watches me wouldn't be surprised like i love mixing it manipulating it i was adding this into my hair i was adding it to nail polish like i put it in everything so there was a collection that came out pinked mauve 
that's really pretty so as the collection came out i cannot remember it was like an artist-based collection when periodically there were like artist collections that came out and i remember getting a poster i was gifted like a poster as like a g with p kind of thing and i had it up in my room and i loved it and they had matte pigments that came out and it was like one of the most challenging things to work with <gasps> with my eye color Oh my God, it's kind of giving, not star violet. What, star violet? There was an eyeshadow that had like a hoax, ho, kind of purpley base with like a gold glitter in it. Like the gold glitter didn't do anything, but it was like in it. That's what this reminds me of. I love it. What was I saying? I just looked in the bag. I just looked in the bag, like really looked in the bag and then the color was like really oh yeah so i got i feel like it was just called magenta and then there was like a matte full force violet that was the color i had not a single idea on how i was supposed to blend those so i bought a because i saw it on youtube i saw a oil you got a hair oil and you mix them so i used to have blonde under my hair you're gonna die uh, i had blonde under my hair and i dyed it magenta it was okay I need to find uh, photos of it. Pink opal. Pink opal. I don't think that I owned this. It ended up coming out, out in a holiday collection like not too long ago. Maybe in like 2017. But Makeup by Risa was the reason. Where am I putting this? <laughs> Can you see? I can use my other hand. Yeah, Makeup by Risa was the reason I like really wanted this. That has to come back. Deck chair? What year was that? Pretty old. That's pretty old font. God, I love Deck so much, I can scream. I think, have I had this in a, I used the wrong hand. That's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. That is, that would be, you want me to put on as a highlight, you say? No problem. <laughs> no problem. What does the texture look like? Oh my God, this is like soft and gentle on crack. It doesn't even look textured on my face. What is this? Oh, pink bronze. I think, I think I have this. Look at how pretty my fingertips look. Oh, you know what this looks like now? Too, too good eyeshadow. It's a frost. Oh, absolutely. If you use too, too good wet, you could get that for sure. Ooh, there's so much more exciting than eyeshadow. Pigments are so much more exciting than eyeshadow. Please, I'm begging. Please let me come out with a, a whole clip. Please, please, <laughs> please. They're gonna be like frozen white. Speaking of eyeshadows, one of my favorite eyeshadows and I never bought it. I stared at it for years and then it got discontinued was Vellum. This color is sexy. I own this one. I should have put this on as a highlight. The highlight is so intense. It'll, it's a white that reflects blue. Oh my God, there's only one left. I'm gonna clean off my hand. I could have also done that from the beginning. So pretty. I've heard of this. I don't think I've ever touched it. This looks stunning. Helium. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Hands a little wet. You know what it reminds me of? Oh, the sheen is not even sheening properly on camera. It's kind of giving, it's kind of, it's kind of giving snow flushed, but like just the pink part. This is, uh, I needed in my life forever. That was thrilling. I have, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't even shake the bag like I normally do. Luster leaf eyeshadow. That's pretty. It's a frosted mint color. 
I like that. What formula is that? Luster? I want to say this word. I don't know how to say it. A-G-A-T-E. Age. A gate is doesn't sound right. This is like sketch. Oh. The brown in it is so rich. And then the the glitter in it is like pinky gold. That's a deep brown. Kind of like give a glam. I like that. Banshee, I feel like we looked at this in another episode on TikTok. <laughs> it's such a good color. It's, you might look at it and say, oh, that's so basic. Why do you care? That's just it. It's not basic. It's got silver glitter and it's like a weird mauve gray base. I would wear this every single day. Chill blue. That's never been touched. I got permission that I could touch them. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Give the people what they want. Give the people what they want. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Put it on my eye. Put it on my freaking eye. This is very... Humble braggish. I can live without that one, that's fine. Glad about? Did I do this bag already? No, because I don't know what that next one is. Oh, you know what some of these might have been in? In the quads. You've gotta be kidding me. Why do I love that so much? It's kind of giving brown script, but with a chrome finish. It doesn't look glittery, it doesn't look frosty, it actually looks chrome I can't describe it it could just be the texture love that with a red lip like this get out of here fine shine are these all luster eyeshadows because I have fuck with them too. there's a version of me that existed when these colors existed silver this you could these have to be lusters I'm telling you I am telling you luster is one of the greatest mac formulas I'm obsessed with luster if you don't know how to use it, can't relate, but I love lusters. Casino, a perfect gold. I wonder if it's gonna look, well, perfect bronzy gold. I wonder if it's gonna look like Jingle Ball bronze. These just feel so good. This is like Jingle Ball bronze. Romantique, pretty soft. Oh, yeah, see, this is not a luster, I don't think, because this is pressed harder. It's actually really cute. It's like a pinky champagne. I thought it was gonna be like girly, but it's not. Pri pris prism eek. Prism eek? Prism eek. This looks like a white gold. Is that glitter from this or is that on my face? This is like if Reflex Pearl was an eyeshadow. It's got the prettiest. Do you remember Polyester Bride from Urban Decay? Kind of like that energy, but not as the glitter particles aren't as chunky. Amethyst? I haven't done this bag. That's a very violet purple. Mineralism looks like a Miss Megan color. You can't see that here. Looks like Vex without the pink. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip down Mac Memory Lane. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. It's all under the same name, at Miss Megan Robinson. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.